morning happy monday everybody another monday the sun is shining and let's have a good week this week shall we how was everybody's weekend mine was lovely it felt like the first proper weekend i don't know why particularly and um, we didn't do much friday night we stayed in friday night and then Saturday evening, Saturday I just had a bit of a pottery day really, getting stuff done in the house and I don't think we went out anywhere. Um, we had friends over Saturday night which was absolutely lovely, two other couples and um, oh I know what I've got to tell you, do you remember a couple of weeks ago I um, had that order from Coat, the French brasserie that didn't turn up and um, I was quite cross about it. <laughs> and that they didn't really have an excuse as to why it didn't turn up anyway the upshot of that was they gave me a refund obviously because i've got my order and they also sent me some vouchers and so with great trepidation i ordered again um i ordered it for delivery last thursday for us to have with our friends on saturday night so i thought if it doesn't turn up on thursday that gives me a bit of time to go out and buy food and cook something for everybody to eat a couple of days but anyway it turned up absolutely fine and friends came over for dinner Saturday night we ate the coat food which was absolutely delicious highly recommend can't recommend the delivery service but the food was absolutely spot on so that was nice and then yesterday morning I very self indulgently spent a lot of the morning watching a film which was nice um, which you will hear about in my Friday. You will have already have heard about by the time you see this. Oh, no, you won't. No, it will be in next week's Friday favourites. I've already filmed this week's. Um, oh, it's so complicated, isn't it? Um, and then in the afternoon, we went to the zoo. Ashley and I bought annual tickets to Painton Zoo not long before lockdown. We only managed to squeeze in one visit before lockdown, and then the zoo closed until a couple of weeks ago. And so we booked an after a fairly late afternoon, half three visit. You have to book pre-book online at the moment because of um, COVID. And we went to the zoo. We walked around some of the zoo. We saw some animals, which was really lovely. Um, it was quite busy there because um, most of it's outside. It felt okay, although lots of kids, lots of people, more people than I expected to be there and there's one bit that's inside sort of the reptile house and people just were not social distancing at all so that felt a little bit uh, not quite right but um, yeah other than that it was all absolutely okay. Um, then from the zoo we went came back the scenic route through the countryside which was lovely and we stopped at a country pub and had a drink in the garden which was absolutely lovely so I don't, don't know something just nice about it some wasn't even out particularly but it was just nice and then we talked about booking a night away on Friday while we were out and then we came back and we sat on the balcony with a glass of wine and looked at some options for a night away next Friday and we've booked to go this Friday coming uh, we've booked to go to the Hotel Duvan in Exeter I've been wanting to stay at a Hotel Duvan for ages and ages and ages so I was very pleased to book that um, it's something to tick off my list of things I want to do and yeah the thought of a night away at a hotel is absolutely lovely really looking forward to that so that's on Friday, then tomorrow I've got my hair cut. It was due to be on Thursday and it was brought forward. I, um, they had a cancellation, they posted it on Instagram, so I replied and I got the cancellation. So it's tomorrow morning, so excited to get some length off this. Um, talking of hair, I was outvoted by you lot on Ashley's hair, wasn't I? Oh my goodness, I think there was only two out of about 180 people who agreed with me. So I will bow to your superior knowledge and I will get used to the longer hair. <laughs> so Ashley, needless to say, was absolutely delighted with the um, results of your voting. And thank you for all your very kind comments. He asked me to pass on his thanks. So so yeah he was pleased about that so yeah haircut tomorrow this morning we have i'm just off, off drop parcels just about to drop another parcel and i'm whizzing to tesco's to get some stuff for dinner because i saw a youtube recipe that i want to do for dinner tonight um so later on this morning we have um the guy coming round with the drawings for our next building project 
which is the front entrance to the house and the balcony rebuild. Um, so that's quite exciting. He's done, he came around a couple of weeks ago, took all the measurements and everything. He's done the drawings and he's gonna submit them to planning for us. Um, so we just need to check over what he's done and discuss some of the detail with him. So that's exciting. Yes, it's shaping up to be a really good, exciting week with lots of stuff going on. And I have been talking for over five minutes now. So that was the longest intro ever, wasn't it? So I'm going to stop and I'll catch up with you later. But it's half past three, Monday afternoon. I've had a busy but productive day. Guy came over with the drawings. I think I told you that this morning. <laughs> There's a pigeon performing acrobatics on the um, bird thingy, bird feed station. I don't know. Can you see him? He's desperately trying to get to that seed, but he's not the world's best balancer. Oh, he's made it. Just about, oh, it's looking a bit precarious. Oh, whoops a daisy. <laughs> Bless him. Honestly, hours of entertainment from the birds. Let me just get you back so it's not scarily up close. There we are. Um, I just thought I'd share a little A1 haul with you. What was I saying before? I was saying, um, Oh yeah, the guy came around with the drawings for the um, new entrance hall. Really good, really pleased with them. I can really visualise it better in my head now. Um, so he's going to submit those to planning and um, start the process with that. I've got a little Avon haul. I ordered a few bits and pieces. I did a live with Kirsten on her channel a little while ago. Talking about she's an Avon lady. Do people still say Avon lady? Avon rep. Um, and she recommended a few products to me and so I did a little order excuse me so I just thought I'd show you what I've got I ordered three hand creams they're doing all the hand creams of three for three pounds now which I thought was really good I'll link it in the description box below for you in case anybody's interested all the things that I've bought so I got radiant hand cream with rose water and shea butter shea butter it's um, they're quite nice size as well they fit in my handbag but not um not the tiny little ones they're bigger than the body shop ones um age restore firming hand cream I think I definitely need that to get my face out so that focuses and finally um replenishing moisture with avocado for dry to extra dry skin that is not wanting to focus today is it really not anyway then i got skin so soft original dry oil spray like a body dry oil this one i'm not a massive fan of it's um it's a lovely product it feels nice going onto the skin but it smells a little bit old lady. Do you know what I mean? It's got that, it reminds me of my grandmother, what she smelled like. <laughs> sort of a powdery smell. Yeah, I, I'm really not keen on that at all, which is a shame. It says it's original, it's just an original with jojoba. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a shame, I use it and it feels lovely on the skin and feels quite moisturizing, but the smell I could really do without which is a shame, that's enough to put me off a product, to be honest. All about the smell. So I then got 7-in-1 nail treatment. This was something that Kirsten recommended that I've just thrown on the floor. Thankfully, it hasn't <laughs> um, disappeared. That's what that looks like. Not disappeared, broken. What am I talking about this afternoon? Um, I can't read that at all, I don't know. Is it like a nail varnish or... Yeah, it looks very thin. Does it go on like a varnish or does it? Well, it smells like a nail varnish. Yeah, it's just like a nail polish, like a clear colour it goes on. So I'm guessing, yeah, there's that one. Then I also got, oh, this is the Lip Plumping Conditioner. This was another one that Kirsten recommended. I haven't even opened this yet. Which looks like that. And it's just sort of almost like a balm. And Kirsten said it wasn't a great lip plumper. It didn't do anything in terms of pl plumping her lips, she didn't think. But it was a very nice lip balm, so. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's nice. Smells nice as well. Nothing, it doesn't look like anything on, but um, yes, I like that. Quite nice packaging as well. It feels quite nice. It's got a sort of gold shift to the um, white plastic. And then finally, I got... This is a Nail Express Growth Serum. Do you know what? I wish the beauty industry would stop using superfluous packaging. Beauty Pie do this as well, and it's one thing that I really don't like about them. Why do we need these boxes? They're just going to go straight in the bin. I mean, with perfume, I get it, because perfume's better kept in the dark. I understand that, but for things like this, you just don't need them, do you? Terrible over-packaging. Um, anyway, that's my, <laughs> thanks for coming to my TED talk. Um, Express Growth Nail Serum. Um, that's quite a small pot, isn't it? It's not an overly generous amount. I don't think it was particularly expensive, but yeah, that's just like a serum. Doesn't smell of anything. Oh God, all I can smell is that old lady powder smell. I think I might have to put this in the giveaway box. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. I'll let you know how I get on with this. If my nails grow hugely, um, I will let you know. And then finally, I got a reed diffuser. Um, which again, why does this box need to be wrapped in all of this plastic? It just doesn't, does it? No, Ava, on your packaging is too much. Um, yeah, there's, there's a whole box in there. It just it did, so didn't need that. Um, grapefruit and pomelo. Uh, now I thought pomelo was similar to a grapefruit. In fact, isn't pomelo Spanish for grapefruit or something like that? I don't know. Can't get the damn box open now. That's what it looks like. Let me just have a quick sniff. Oh, it's not very strong. Yeah, not nearly as strong as I was expecting it to be, so I think that would have to be for a fairly small room. But I'll give it a chance, you know, you can't um, judge it just on um, sniffing it in the bottle, I guess, can you? Right, that's it for my Avon haul. I'm going to go and cook some dinner now. I have just made this. It is called Zucchini Rollatini. It's like an Italian low-carb recipe. Um, and I think it's going to be really nice. It's got minced turkey inside and ricotta and tomato sauce and Italian herbs. And it's basically rolled courgettes, I think, with, with the stuffing inside. And I think this might make it onto my Friday favourites this week. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's about nine o'clock and it's a busy old day today. I've already been and taken Will to work, his car's in for an MOT and it was due to be ready by last night but unfortunately they phoned and said it wasn't going to be ready till this morning because they were waiting for a part at 9.30 and he had to be at work for 8.30 so I dropped him into work. Um, then I've got to film a video this morning and what, I've just stripped the bed, I'm going to put the sheets into the washing machine when I put my makeup on and get those washed um yeah i've got to film a video for tomorrow which i've left a bit late really then i i'm hoping to get 15 draft listings done before i go to my hair appointment at half 11. um haircut then i've got to pop it to tesco's for a couple of bits um and then home again, then I've got to edit the video and upload it, ready for tomorrow morning. And then get the photographs done for my eBay listings. And by that time, I will probably have to go back out to pick Will up from work. Because um, he finished at 4.30. So yeah, bit of a busy day going on here today. Oh my God, it's so hot. I've had my hair cut feels so much nicer it's been thinned out and a bit off the length and the layers are back in on the top very happy with it sorry if I look a hot sweaty mess it's because I'm a hot sweaty mess <laughs> I've just got back from town oh that's a nice angle isn't it just got back from town haircut popped into Asda to get some bits for dinner I'm gonna do a chicken and bacon Caesar salad 
with garlic flatbread and I went to the Bernardo's charity shop which has just opened and I got some nice stuff they had some really nice stuff in there in fact I only looked round half of it I'm gonna go back and do the rest of it tomorrow because I've, I've only had two little bags with me and I didn't want to carry loads around town so yeah that was quite good anyway I've now got it's about half one I've just had some lunch I've had some of last night's leftover dinner which was a triumph my dinner last night I know I showed you a little bit of it but Ashley and William both really liked it considering it was low carb I was quite surprised but they both ate all of it Ashley had seconds and William went as far as to say that was nice which is high praise indeed coming from him <laughs> so yeah it's now half one quarter to two something like that and I've got a couple of hours before I need to leave to pick well up from work and I've got a whole long video to edit and all my eBay photos to do and it is roasting in the office it's so hot also I've stripped my bed and haven't remade it yet I have done the laundry but I need to remake the bed at some point as well although that's not urgent to be done before I go back out to pick William up so busy afternoon ahead I think Good morning, it's Thursday, it's also very bright and it's very early, well very early, it's half past eight. I am at Aldi, I've come to do a little bit of shopping, I didn't film anything yesterday, I had a bad day, hay fever just literally floored me, you can hear it in my voice still I think. Um, I ended up sitting in my bedroom almost all day with all the windows shut, the curtains drawn and just a streaming nose and itchy eyes and it was hideous and I know it's only hay fever but it's got to the stage now it's really getting me down. Um, so I'm hoping today will be slightly better. I would like to try and get some work done. About the only productive thing I got done yesterday was, oh god now my battery light's flashing, um, the only productive thing I got done yesterday was tidying my office and cleaning it so that was at least one thing I got done but yeah I am really struggling this week with hay fever Will's the same and it's just miserable if this is what lack of pollution does to my hay fever bring back pollution I say and I don't say that entirely tongue-in-cheek <laughs> anyway I'm going to Aldi if my Camry battery lasts I will try and film a little bit in there for you They've got some of the makeup dupes in, which is quite unusual for my store. I've just picked up one of these little cheek palettes and um, one of the eyeshadow palettes. Not interested in the highlighter sticks, I don't like those. What's this meant to be a dupe of, this mascara? Does anybody know? Yeah, 100, 100 legit waterproof mascara, 5 .99. They've also got the dupe for the Pixie Glow Toner, which I've already got at home, so I'm not buying that, but that is 3 .99 if anybody's interested. And they've got sets of the hot cloth cleansers. I've never tried those. Has anybody tried those? I'm quite interested in if they're any good. Back from Aldi's a little while later. Excuse my unmade up face and undone hair. No point putting any makeup on because it just slides off my face with hay fever in about three seconds flat, sadly. So I thought I'd do a very quick Aldi haul for you. I got some bread, it's their version of the 50-50 or, um, what's it called, 50-50 or best of both. So it's half white, half wholemeal, perfect blend of white and wholemeal. It's about half the price of bread in um, Tesco, the equivalent, it was um, 50p or something. I got four pints of semi-skimmed milk, we consume a lot more milk, milk. A change of battery, we ran out of battery. God, I look horrific. As I was saying, I got some cotton wool. It's 59p for two times 100, two, two 100 piece packs. That makes sense. 100 pad packs, even. Whatever, there's 100 in each of those packs, and it was 59p. I got some Greek feta cheese for a sort of tuna and feta salad for lunch. I got some, this was 89p, I think. I got some rocket, which was 49p, again. Half the price of Tesco's, I think you get a bit less, but that is to go into a pasta dish tonight. Um, and that's perfect amount. I'll be, be able to use it all up in one go. Um, I got some double cream, I don't know how much that was because I forgot to look at it. That's for a dessert that I'm doing over the weekend. I got some smoked salmon, which was 2 dollars also to go on the, um, in the pasta dish tonight. I got 
a bottle of gin peach and orange blossom i have had this before and it was very nice it was 14.99 good price for gin it's a proper strength gin not what that stuff that they call gin liqueur which is full of sugar 37.5 percent um actually this one is for my mother she asked me to pick one up for her when i went to aldi next so that one's for her um got a candle because they had lime blossom and mandarin in oh just like the joe malone one the throw isn't as great as the joe malone one but it's pretty nice even so um what else did i get i got some pate i think this is a new one in there chicken and chorizo um sounded quite nice so i got that one um what else oh i got that um cheeky cheek eye um cheeks cheeky cheek eye palette cheeky cheeks blusher palette it's blusher highlight and bronzer um i do not know what this is supposed to be a dupe of i think all of their makeup is meant to be a dupe so i will google that and let you know and perhaps show it to you later i put the eye palette back i decided i didn't need another eye palette in my life I got some of their own brand Zoflora. Actually, I don't think it's own brand. I think it's just a copy brand of Zoflora. It's fabulous. So they sell this in them home bargains as well. And I already have several bottles of this stuff. I use it quite regularly for various things. If you want to know all the different things I use Zoflora for, let me know and I will mention it in a video or make a little video or something like that. Um, yeah, the reason I got this is because it is Black Cherry Merlot, which is in my top two all-time bath and body works candle scents i absolutely love it that and watermelon le lemonade are my favorites oh it smells just like it oh that is lovely so nice um that was 99p i think i got a super cheap pizza i like to keep a pizza in the freezer for william he only likes pepperoni no he doesn't only like pepperoni but that's his favorite was like 67p or something i got some tagliatelle for dinner tonight this was the only tagliatelle i could find could find and it was slightly more expensive than i think it's a special range isn't it like one pound 25 or something um i got some kitchen cleaning spray or house cleaning spray this is lemon mint leaf which I thought sounded quite nice. This again is the Fabulosa range. Oh, that smells nice as well. Very fresh and sipsy. Lovely, just what I wanted. And then I got another bottle of gin. This one is for me. This is from the same range and it's Raspberry and Thyme, which I haven't tried before, but I thought sounded lovely. So picked that one up. And then I got a tin of tuna chunks to go with my feta cheese with a salad for, to make a salad for lunch. And that is my, I was going to say home bargains, that is my Audi haul for today. Let me know if you've tried any of the, um, let me know what you buy in Audi. What things are good? What ought I to be buying? Because I felt like I enjoyed my trip there this morning. It was not too busy in there. And um, the prices are really good when you actually have time to browse. It has, it's been a while since I've had time to, or not time, but felt it's appropriate to wander around the supermarket and browse. It was very quiet in there. So I um, quite enjoyed having a little wander around the aisles and see what they've got. So um, I think I might go to get Audi more regularly and do some of my more basic shopping. They don't have everything I'd need for a weekly shop, but they've got lots of stuff that I haven't tried. So let me know what is good in Audi in the comments if you go there. Thank you. I have just had a little play with my new La Cura Cheeky Cheeks palette and I've got it on my face and my eyes and I really like it. It's very glowy, very glowy, but it's really pretty. I'm genuinely quite pleased with it um the only thing i would say is the blush is a little bit on the glittery side but overall it's pretty nice i th I, I think it's got really nice the, the champagne highlighting color is lovely for the eyes i haven't got with that blush you don't need a high or i don't feel like i need a highlighter because the blush is so glowy but um yeah i really like it Let me move it where it's not quite so daylighty bright lighty so you can see it in a better light but i think that is really very pretty i'm quite impressed for 3.99 i think that's a nice little palette if you would like me to do a get ready with me with this um with this look with with that palette i can do it was very super simple 
um so let me know if you'd like me to do that i do anyway but um yeah i'm pleased with that i don't know why i bother putting any makeup on. i thought i'd just have a little fiddle with it and i sat down and ended up doing a full face of makeup um while i was watching the television on a laptop but um yeah nowhere to go no reason to have it on but pleased with it might do it like this tomorrow when we go away Good morning, it's Friday. How are we all doing? I've just washed my hair for the first time since I had it cut and I'm very happy with how it's looking now. I know a lot of you said you liked it a little bit longer. I have kept some of the length actually. It's still slightly longer than it was previously, but um, yes, I, I, I like it. I'm very happy with the cut. It feels a lot lighter and it's had the layers put back in, which is a good thing, isn't it? Anyway, it's Friday. We're going away today, so I'm really looking forward to that. Just for one night, I think I told you earlier in the week, to the Hotel du Fan in Exeter for dinner and one night, um, just to get away, really. I'm looking forward to it. I think Will's having some friends over to stay, so that will be nice for him. Um, I've just finished filming next week's Five on Friday video. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead of myself before we go away for a little break, for a little break, three nights, not... not yeah, it is indeed a little break uh, in a couple of weeks with my parents and my brother and Amanda. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get ahead with my filming a little bit. So I've just filmed next week's Five on Friday. I've been reading the comments about today's Five on Friday. You're all enjoying this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this way of sharing things that I'm enjoying with you. And... Um, uh, I think it's a great, I hope you're enjoying the Five on Friday thing as well because I think it's um, working really well from my point of view. Um, right, I have to sort some parcels out. We're leaving at about two. It's, bloody hell, it's quarter to ten. Where's the morning going? I need to wrap some parcels. Um, I need to wrap some parcels. I need to, need to wrap some parcels, drop them off at the parcel shop um do some laundry do some ironing various bits and pieces pack my stuff for tonight and um yeah can you hear i've still got hay fever in my voice it's very um annoying i'm sick of it but if touch wood head table seems a little bit better today so long may that continue well it's getting on for 12 o'clock and we are leaving at two to go away for our night away. So I'm going to finish off this video. I want to get the footage transferred to the computer, ready for editing when I get back tomorrow. So you can see it on Sunday. Um, I hope everybody's had a good week. Um, I will see you again on Wednesday. I think we have a Matalan come shop with me on Wednesday. So I haven't filmed it yet, but um, looking forward to going in and seeing what they've got. Right, that's it from me. Have a good weekend, rest of the weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.